He lifted his eyes and saw clearly across the narrow sea, towards the free cities and the green Dothraki Sea and beyond. Toward V's Dothrak beneath his mountain. What? Toward the legendary lands of the Jade Sea, toward Ass High by the shadows, where dragons stirred beneath the dawn. Finally he looked to the north. He saw the wall shining like blue glass, and his bastard brother John sleeping alone in a cold bed, his skin turning pale and hard as the memory of all warmth fled from him. And he looked beyond the wall, beyond endless snow-covered forests, beyond the frozen coast and the great rivers of blue and white ice, and the dead plains where nothing grew or lived. He looked north, toward the curtain of light at the end of the world, and then beyond that curtain. He looked deep into the heart of winter, and Bran mentions that he saw dragons in ass high by the shadow, at dawn. There are two options, either there are more dragons in this universe, or Bran was having a vision of the future. A future that has not yet happened in Game of Thrones. First let's look at the option where more dragons exist in this universe. To understand why Drogon might not be the last dragon, we must transport ourselves to a time long before Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. Possibly long before the creation of the city of Valyria. There are legends that say that dragons and dragon lords could be found in the most remote regions of Essos, especially in Sothorios and Ass High. It is believed that the first people to tame dragons were inhabitants of Ass High by the Shadow, and they achieved this through blood magic then traveled to Valyria where they taught Daenerys' ancestors how to ride these wild creatures. If this is the case it means that the vision Bran had was not about Drogon, but about dragons that still exist in this world but that we have not seen. On one occasion Daenerys mentions that she had heard the origin of the dragons came from Ass High. However, there is something that contradicts this perspective. And that is because George Martin mentioned this vision of Bran was a prophetic vision, something from the future. If this is the case it does not make sense that Bran saw dragons in Ass High, unless this was Daenerys' destiny in the future. Daenerys received the three dragon eggs that allowed her to become a threat in Westeros. These dragon eggs are believed to have come from the lands of Ass High. Later a masked woman gives Daenerys advice and hints that Daenerys should head towards Ass High. And in the House of the Undying, one of them tells Daenerys that in order to turn on the light, she must pass under the shadow, which many have interpreted as a command for Daenerys to travel to this ancient city. But do we know if Bran's vision is a prophecy or a memory of the past? In 2015 the original idea for Game of Thrones was published, an article of which we will be creating a video soon. In this article it is revealed whether this vision of Bran is a vision of the past, present or future. We can read a writing from George Martin's own hands from 1993 where he says the following. Young Bran will come out of his coma after having a strange prophetic dream, only to discover that he will never walk again. He will turn to magic, initially in hopes of restoring his legs, but later on his own. When her father Ned Stark is executed, Bran will see the shape of fate descending upon them all. However, nothing he says can stop his brother Rob from summoning the forces into rebellion. This confirms that Bran's vision is from the future. The most important piece of this puzzle has fallen into place. Now that Jon Snow is back in the north, and Drogon is headed to Volantis with Daenerys' body, the vision Bran had could make sense. If Bran saw past the end of Game of Thrones, this could explain why he saw dragons in Ass High. Which could mean that Drogon was not only on his way to Volantis, but that he could carry Daenerys' body to Ass High, the place where he had already been prophesied that she must go. We can also see in the vision that Bran sees Jon sleeping in the north. If Drogon is really going to carry Daenerys' body to Ass High, simultaneously Jon would be in the north, since it was there where we saw him at the end of Game of Thrones. And the most disturbing thing about the vision, is that Bran sees how there is something beyond in the north that caused him to cry. 
If Bran's vision is really from the future, it means that Drogon is heading towards Ass High, that there is still danger beyond the wall in the north, and the story is not over. Is it Daenerys' destiny to resurrect and travel to Ass High to find more dragons, or to discover the real danger that is coming? Was Bran's vision really a prophecy of something that has not yet happened? Let me know what you think about this theory. Are there more dragons we haven't seen yet? If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all our videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven